Avengers Endgame is the culmination of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here's an explanation of the end credits. Now, before we say anything else, we have to warn you, this video contains spoilers. All previous 21 MCU films had a post credit scene teasing what was coming next in the series. Endgame takes a very different approach. There are no visuals for the end scene. Instead, we just hear the sound of a hammer banging. But there is a deeper meaning behind it. It's a callback to Tony Stark building his first suit in 2008's Iron Man, which kicked off the entire MCU. One of the main plot points of Endgame is time travel. While Scott Lang is the one who approaches the Avengers about the possibility of it, it's Tony Stark who solves the problem. And the solution involves a Mobius strip. A Mobius strip is a very special type of mathematical structure. Unlike a sphere or a cube, it only has one side. You can see how this works just by making one yourself. Take a long strip of paper, twist it once, and join the ends of it together. Now, if you take your pen and draw over it, you can mark the entire surface of the paper without removing your pen. So, what does this have to do with time travel? Well, in the film, the heroes are faced with a common dilemma. Why can't they just go back in time and kill Thanos as a baby? The problem with that is that time in the film acts like a Mobius strip. You can only travel in your current loop. So, changing events in the past won't affect the current timeline. It'll create an alternate timeline, which is not what the heroes want. The heroes settle on a different approach, one that will have just one outcome that they can control. Travel back in time to get the stones and use them to reverse the effects of the snap and bring everybody back into the current time. So, getting back to that clanging sound, it turns the entire MCU into its own Mobius strip. These first 22 films are now called the Infinity Saga, which makes sense since a Mobius strip resembles the symbol for infinity. Watch all 22 movies all the way through, and you end up back where you started, with Tony Stark making his first suit of armor. Now, this isn't the very first scene that happens in the first Iron Man movie, but that first Stark suit is the kickoff for everything that comes after. So, if the events of Endgame have left you sad over the loss of some fallen heroes, just know they're not really dead. They're in the infinite loop of time. Ha ha, very funny. And since time travel now exists in the MCU, the possibility exists that some of them could return. <laughs> this is the nerdiest thing I've ever done. <laughs>